Hello everybody and welcome back to Undertale, where we are going to go see Alphys in the lab. Because Papyrus had a feeling. Oh, what's this? It's a note from Alphys. Read it. Yes. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at le sorry, you all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. What did she do? Bath right oh that's the bathroom, okay. Bathroom's an elevator. Oh, very strange. Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost, altitude dropping. She killed me. Have I crash landed in the basement or something? Where am I? Okay, I'm in some weird basement. In Alphys' lab. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. This doesn't sound like good research, honestly. Number five, I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Determination was in yellow there, I wonder why. What oh, spooky music. Save point. Don't use it. True laboratory. I'm guessing this is what people meant by the true laboratory then. Buy chips for 25 gold. Yeah, sure. The vending machine dispensed some chips. Chisps! Is that like half chips, half crisps? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Elevator lost power. Enter the centre door. That's all you could read. I'm gonna look around first. Power room. Okay. I don't know which way to go. Oh, hang on, there was an entry back there. No, hang on, that was just the thing to tell me about the power, wasn't it? Oh, no, it wasn't. Alright, all right, okay, that's just saying power room. Right, okay, let's go up here. There'll be more entries to read. Here we are, entry number six. Right, so that's continuing. Asquat asked everybody outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. The bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. That's what she did to Metaturn, isn't it? 
a horrible science laboratory. Bookerif. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? I don't know if I was meant to go in the power room before I carried on, so we'll just go back and see. Because that was entry 6, wasn't it? And then it went to 9. Oh, okay, I guess I've got to get a few things first. I'll go up here, see what's up here. The door I can't get through. Right, right, I was meant to go that way, that's fine. I can't get in the power room. Six. Why is that entry nine when it was entry six and four? Okay, there's a note on the floor there. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out. Oh, you can't make it all out, sorry. Drain, dropped it. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch. There's a red coloured slot in the centre. Okay, so... The red token has been dropped down the drain. Or be down one of the sinks then. We turned on the sink. We turned on the sink. We turned on the sink. Okay, that will be the one that will flood. So that sink will be the one with the key. Oh, okay. Monst sink monster. We're going to call it sink monster. Junior. <laughs> These are terrifying. What even are they? See, for such a sort of cutesy game, this can be a little bit dark sometimes. A. Stat item cell. Can you use my cell phone? No data available. Oh, well, that was useful. Oh, no, no, no. This reminds me, but nobody came. Why does this. This reminds me of a flowery fight so much. I'm gonna need to use. I'm gonna eat the chips. These are the souls that, that didn't work. We oh, never know when they're going to pop up. Nobody came. I may die here. If I do, I'm sorry, guys. I've got no items. Except for the chips that I got out of the vending machine. So we'll just try and work out what we've got to do. Check out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. <laughs> I think I pretty much did. Okay, we'll just reload. And we'll go straight back to this room. Luckily I saved. Save point. What is with those guys? They're very powerful and it's hard to dodge their faces because you don't know where they're going to show up. It's not like you can just avoid them. So that this might take me a little while. While I'm sitting trying to work out what the peaceful way to get them is. It bugs me that it went from entry 6 to entry 9. If I just turn that tap on. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Like, why are there souls in the sink anyway? Why oh, are yeah, the terrifying, terrifying souls? So I still haven't tried item stat or sell. No, I tried sell, sorry. Stat. Just tells me it's stats. Right, okay. This is where this takes the entire episode.
nobody came. Unless there's different things but different ones. Still come join the fun, okay. Probably gonna die a lot. So I'm gonna try um dodging B and C. It's gonna take all of my health to do this and it's gonna be a lot of deaths. I can tell you that right now. But luckily my soul persists because I am determined. get past this. Turn on the same. Turn on the same. Turn on the same. I would just like to say that you can't turn on a sink. You can turn on a tap. And that's maybe a little bit picky. Okay, so now this time I'm going to go to B and see if I can get through the fight. And I have a look at my items. The enemy put a piece of itself in your inventory. Okay. Nobody came. Okay, so next. A. Item. Enemy put a piece of itself in your inventory. Put a piece of itself in your inventory. Do you know what? I haven't tried any mercy options so far at all. Staying still seems to work better. Ugh, how annoying. Okay, next time I'm going to see what the mercy options are all about, but there's definitely something to do with those items. I don't know whether I could maybe do mercy after after those items, but definitely staying to the side and staying in one place seems to help better. They go all over the place, but they only hit you once or twice if you stood in the same place. So we'll try that a bit more. But this is a fight I've never done before. Whereas a lot of this I did in my previous playthrough, and you know you spared the the. the horrendousness of it, but this one you're going to have to put up with me blundering my way through. Okay, so A, item. Go okay, right over the side here. They got hit twice there. Uh, nobody came. And I'm going to go on B, and I'm going to try and item them. I'm going to go right over to the side, into the corner. I'm just going to hide down there. Okay, that was good. C, item. A piece of itself in your inventory. Again, I'm going to go hide down in the corner. hit once. Let's see if we can do mercy. Not yet, apparently. Um, I wonder if I can do that again. Maybe there'd be less faces if, um, ah, oh, I'm dead. Maybe I'll try doing lots of pieces from one particular one and see if I get rid of it. Also, um, I'll see if I can get more chips out of the machine. That seems to be the only thing I'm allowed to use to heal. See my 
inventory and what I've got. Pop potato chips. <laughs> potato chips. Okay. And I've got 210 gold. So if I buy more, will I have two? I'll just check this. Yes, so I can buy eight of those then. That would help with my fight a little bit. So another six. So one. so you guys don't have to see that ever again. There's nothing more boring than watching someone buying chips out of a vending machine, although there probably is stuff more boring than that, but I don't know what it is. Watching paint dry, maybe. The contender. Yeah, let's turn these sinks on. So now I should have a bit of a better chance of getting through it. And each time I respawn, I'll have all the chips in my inventory. Oh, I turned on the sink. I turned off the sink. I should concentrate on what I'm doing rather than talking. So this time I'm going to concentrate on A and I'm going to keep taking a piece of its soul. I can't flee. My inventory was full. Oh. Right, so I need to just leave a space for, for them. Nobody came. Okay, yeah, well in that case I'm going to... a little bit of damage when I take the chips. Okay, so... My XP gone. Lost it again. Item. Potato crisps. 13 HP, so I'm back nearly to my full HP. So I shouldn't have filled my inventory. But there's not a lot I can do about that now because I saved. Okay, back up to full health. So I should be able to now take part of the... itself. Back to the corner. The most I ever get hit in the corner is usually about twice. Once or twice. And I recover one hit point from my apron anyway. No! I need to eat more crisps. Right, so item crisps. I eat crisps. Back to full health almost. I got hit twice that time. Enemy put a piece of itself into a inventory. I don't know how many times I have to do this. This is a horrible fight. Oh no, oh no, I didn't go in the right place. Uh. Oh, dead. There's got to be something that I can do here. I've tried getting one piece of each of them. That doesn't seem right. I don't know how many pieces they are in, but if I've got eight slots in my inventory and there's only there's three of them, then surely there can only be like a couple of. I don't know. I'm gonna carry on with the method. I didn't really get very far with the method of um, unfortunately because I had too many potato chips in my inventory. I didn't get very far with my method of trying to get lots of pieces of one of their souls, so we'll try that again. Turn on, turn off. Turn on, turn off. Turn on. 
I'm not sure if the sinks do anything particularly or if it's just a, a way to get that thing to show up. But I'm not going to move any further on until I've done this. That is horrible. So be aware this is one of the ones where I can only fight. I might have to end the episode. I'm going to give it another five minutes and then I'm going to end the episode whether I've finished this or not and then we will have to do it when we come back. It is a horrible, horrible, horrible. You know, the first thing I need to do is to eat potato chips regardless because I need them out of my inventory. So we'll do that. I'll get into the corner. Before, before any faces pop up. Okay, so now we can start to act and take a piece of soul. The enemy put a piece of itself in your inventory. Okay, cool. Then we're gonna go into the corner again. Oh, that corner will have to do then. That's fine. As long as it's just one place with nobody came. Because that's like you call for help, but nobody came. In the um, flowy fight at the end of the neutral run. This is quite interesting. Now I need to eat more chips. That will give me a space to, after this run, to get. Uh, go, go, go. That will give me a space to get some. Um, soul in my inventory. Okay, but nobody came so I can act now and try and take a piece of a soul. The enemy put a piece of itself in your inventory. So now I need to go and get eat more chips on the next round. Piece of its soul. Enemy put a piece of itself in your inventory. So do I have like bad memories? Can I use them? Consume the bad memory. You lost one HP. went away. That was different. But nobody came. I'm going to consume another bad memory while I've still got some health. I lost one HP. I wonder how many bad memories I have to consume. Are there less faces now? No, there's still quite a lot. Oh, there's no bad memories. Okay, I'll eat some potato chips. So I'll need to go and get some more. Oh, they hurt me for a lot each time they hit me. Take some more memories, I think, then. The enemy put a piece of itself in your inventory. I need to try and use the cell phone again just in case something there has changed. I'm still just working this out. If I get hit twice, I'm gonna die. But I didn't. Okay. Um. I am gonna eat potato chips.
hope I don't get hit. Oh, I got hit. Just once will do. Thank you. Cool. Um. No, I didn't want that. I wanted. Oh, so there's no um option to use my cell. And oh no, there is. Take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Still just saying, come join the fun. Okay. I think I'm on the right track with the cons consumption of the bad memories. Oh, right. So now I know their names. Memory head A. I can join or I can refuse. Try joining. You'll be with us shortly. Become one of us. Come join the fun. Interesting. Eat the potato chips. Wait, that's progress though, isn't it? It's a real get together. Do I need to eat more bad memories? Consume the bad memory. You lost one HP. Lorem Ipsum Docket. That's some really bad Latin. I apologise to anyone that knows Latin there. Latin and not like just a font or something. Um, right. There's still no mercy to be had. No cave. Can we head B? Join. Ah, I was getting somewhere then. Okay, I will be back next episode and I will use what I have learned in this episode to try and get through that puzzle. That is horrible. Absolutely horrible. So anyway, let's get back in the lab. Okay, everybody, well, that's the end of the episode for today. Sorry we couldn't manage to get past the memory heads, but we do know their name now. They are toughies, definitely, and I think sometimes when you just don't know the trick yet, it's a little bit difficult. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please leave me a like in the comment section below. And if you would like um, to see more of this Undertale series and see how I get on in the lab and uh, what happens at the end as well, then please uh, subscribe to the channel and I can let you know when new videos are out. Hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.